Hi, this is Robert Redfern, the Serapeptase guy. Anybody that's known me for the last 23 years that I've been involved with natural health knows that I'm a cynic. I'm a cynic about um, orthodox medicine, I'm a cynic about natural medicine. There are so many, many snake oils around. People make all sorts of extravagant claims about this nutrient and that nutrient, this wonder fruit and this crazy, amazing fruit. Uh, I have to see it for my own eyes. And when I came across serapeptase 10 years ago, um, I checked it out very carefully, I gave it to lots of people and I wanted to see it with my own eyes that it really did do its job and it does an amazing job. I wrote a book on it called Serapeptase and everything seemed great, wonderful, but then something changed my life because I found that Serapeptase is just more amazing than I ever thought possible and so I renamed the book The Miracle Enzyme. When I renamed it The Miracle Enzyme, um, people said Robert, why are you making such extravagant claims? And I said, well, this really is miraculous now, and here's the story why. The story goes back 40 years ago in a city in Virginia in the USA called Alexandria. And uh, a guy called Mike Tors was born there to an unmarried mother. This is what he was told anyway, because you'll hear why in a minute. But his mother couldn't afford to look after him because he was born with cerebral palsy. That's a condition where the brain is damaged at birth. And so she did the best she could for him and took him up to uh, Canada where they had free health care and he was fostered uh, for, I think it was about 18 months in Canada. Um, then a, a nurse, an English nurse that was working in Canada said she wanted to adopt Mike and so she took him back to England and adopted him and Mike was brought up in England. And that was fine and, and she, you know, brought him up and he went to college but he was having great difficulties especially with his eyesight because you know all of his life he hadn't really been able to see properly and it was quite difficult in those days to um, to get the support you needed uh, but then you know Mike left college and he became quite sick because of the side effects of the cerebral palsy and also the drugs that he was on now by now doctors started giving him drugs for the side effects of the cerebral palsy they say and so life didn't get very good for Mike. I'm going to jump forward now um, to when he was 36, four years ago in 2006. And Mike was in his apartment in the city of Manchester in England, uh, living alone. He had some good friends and he, his health was so bad, he was on 14 drugs and the doctors were just absolutely at the wit's end what was going to help him. Um, he had, his heart and lungs were failing and his friends were so concerned they were planning his funeral. They didn't tell him then but they told him later when he, when he recovered. Luckily he came across serapeptase. His friends came across it first, they told him about it and between them they did some research and they found me on the internet and they found my radio shows about serapeptase and they said well this is worth a try so they gave it a try. Within days, Mike started to change. His lungs, which were failing completely, started to clear. Within a few weeks, his lungs were clear and he was breathing perfectly. Within a month or so, he was off all of the drugs. With the permission of the doctors, they would just amaze the doctors that anybody could recover so fast from being at death's door with so many problems. And obviously, the cerebral palsy is, is the basis of these problems. And so, Mike literally was on the road to recovery. He contacted uh, the office that sells the serapeptase and they contacted me and, um, and I, I was on the radio in the America at the time when I got this message and I actually spoke about it on the radio because I thought it was miraculous that a person could have such a recovery in such a short time because even though I'd seen some wonderful stories they were just things that were believable and this became unbelievable. I went to see Mike Tors um, at his apartment and Mike is just an amazing fellow and he's, in fact he's become a friend of mine now uh, over the years and uh, I, I've, I've worked with him to improve his life <coughs> excuse me all in, in all areas um, I added um, serapeptase uh, more serapeptase to it, what he was already taking and I uh, introduced curc curcumin to him and maxi focus so all of his uh, subsequent uh, recovery over the last four years has not been solely to serapeptase, but serapeptase was the springboard to, to everything recovering. Um, 
Jump forward now to uh, 2009. Mike's 40 years of age now. He didn't expect to see 2007, but now in 2009, he's 40 years of age. He's got a life ahead of him. He's um, uh, going to the gym three times a week, which is, you know, I mean, more than I do. I, you know, I, I need to go to the gym more. Uh, he can now see, he can now see beautiful scenery when he goes out um, into the countryside. Not seen it in the first time in 40 years. That's why I renamed the book The Miracle Enzyme. That's why I call Serapeptase The Miracle Enzyme. That's why Mike Tors is the Miracle Enzyme Guy. This is Robert Redfern, the Serapeptase Guy, signing off with another great story to come tomorrow. Take care and goodbye.